Level six. We'll move on to that next. Um, this one, you've got a block over here that pops up in front of the pathways to make it the disappearing pathway. You've got this trans pad that starts at the beginning of the level. So when you click start button, that starts moving. And right here, you can't see them, but they're little tiny labels that if you move out of the way. It will make the pathway like that. And I call these uh, bridges. Oops. Keep forgetting that if you hold control and move the mouse, it moves the camera too. That's why I'm moving sometimes when I don't mean it to. Um, Alrighty, let's take a look at some of this code. The timer 1 controls the disappearing block, timer 2 controls the moving uh... the trans pad and the bridges aren't controlled by timers obviously because you would have to time it right I, I guess that could make it more difficult that, uh... i'll show you in the uh, end game real quick they're actually controlled by where you move so right now you got this right here then when you get around get right here you're like what But as soon as you hit this one I'm about to go over right now it changes over it changes the two on the left to visible two on the left and right to visible let me just go over it changes the one right here and one right here to visible and the one right here and down here to invisible and whenever you lose it has to reset those back uh, to normal or else you won't be able to win Oh yeah, and if you saw the uh, the trans pad moving and block disappearing and reappearing, um, we'll go look at how those bridges work. This is label five. That's what I have that called. Let's go down here, label five. Um, if game start equals true, that's what this says. When you mouse over label five it makes the next set of bridges appear bridge one and two are this one that's bridge two that's bridge one this is bridge three and this is bridge four so it changes one and two to visible equals false so you can't see them and bridge three and four visible equals true so that makes them where you're able to see them so it changes these two to invisible when you mouse over this and it changes these to visible that's all that is and once again all these are just labels and for uh... the disappearing blocks or this blah, 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 disappearing pathways it's just one giant label that pops over everything that's the way i had it in level one and for those obviously they're not part of or they're not the form itself so you'll have to make it separate lose thing and if you have multiple multiple things you can lose on it's good to make a a function called lose or whatever you want to call it really to have it all here so you won't have to keep using all of this code you know and you can just write it once and use a function two or three times there's one where I have it like seven or eight times there's just so many things to to lose on and uh... that's the only different thing in level six just the bridge now we'll move on to level seven once all this stuff closes level seven they're the only thing in here looks like is the uh... All these are moving pathways. Oh, and you got a block up here that disappears and reappears. And, uh, time two, time one. The, uh, disappearing pathway timer, timer two, and you see the interval is pretty high. And that gives you more time to travel because if you see block covers 
bring the front. It covers up all of that. So you'll have to go. Oops, control V. You'll have to go over all that in a little over a second and a half. It may sound like a good amount of time. It may not. It's really not. <laughs> you gotta be quick. So if you lose, you'll have to come all the way through everything, through this little spiral thing right here, all the way back up there, right at the end. The timer, one, controls the, uh, the moving blocks. It's the exact same for all the other moving blocks, so I'm not going to spend hardly any time on it. It's just, there's more blocks. Um, see how quick they move. They all move at five pixels a second, or per tick. I, I got to stop saying per second, because it's not right. Um, the timer is at a tenth of a second per tick is what it is, so ten ticks per second. And that's the only different thing in here. Uh, you only got the form and the disappearing pathway to lose on, so that's all it is right there. I'll show you that real quick. I don't know if I showed you part of level six or not load up level 7 real quick. It's funny when you say real quick on my computer it seems to take the longest. But this is a pretty good sized program. See the blocks moving, the pathway disappearing. God oh, man, I didn't even get anywhere and I lost. Oh my god. I'm not paying attention. Okay. Well. Oh, I'm gonna get mad the angle that I'm at. I'm not at a good angle. You gotta move with them. It's best to wait till after they go past you. Then when they start moving back in front of you again to try to go. Because if you try to go down with them, you have to move down and then back up immediately. So just wait for those to go past you. Then when they come back, and if you move too quick, you lose. Level 8 is uh, probably the hardest level in here, so we'll move to that next. It's got a lot more bridges, and uh, this is the trans pad. It's right here. You have to move, and that thing moves quick, too, so you gotta move. CJ. Well, CJ says hi, obviously. Okay. Well, anyway, hopefully it'll stop sending me messages. Um, the bridges right here. There's a bunch of different bridges. No problem. Okay, TJ. I'll see how it is. If you want to interrupt me during my videos, next time you're doing a video, I'm just going to knock on your door and I'll have my drum set there right at your door. So right when you answer the door, I'll just, I'll just beat the crap out of your ears. Uh, yeah, when you mouse over, it uh, changes the bridges, so you have to go through it a couple times, or you have to go around once, and when you go back around, that's when that pathway enables. And then you go all the way around here, I'm not going to take the time to go through it. Well, I'm going to go through it, but I'm not going to do it while you're watching, I'll skip ahead in the video. So I'm going to go through here, and whenever I get to the part that activates the trans pad, I'll come back into that, and uh... I'll show you what happens there. Alright, this is me activating the trans pad. There's a little tiny pathway right here, but when you mouse over this label, it makes that bridge appear, starts the trans pad. That's all it does. And when you lose, in all the levels, whenever you lose, it doesn't it doesn't restart the trans pad. So if I lost when it was all the way over here, it would still be there, but the bridges would reset. 